comes a moment in every life, a turning point, where we are faced with a choice, a choice to rise or to fall, to let the weight of the world crush us, or to stand tall and push back. The choices we make in the shadows, when no one else is watching. It's in these moments that our true character is revealed. It's easy to make excuses. It's easy to blame the world. To say, I can't do this because of them, or I'm not good enough because of this. But deep down, you know the truth. You know that the only thing standing between you and your dreams is you. The only barrier to your success is your own mind, your own fears, your own self-doubt. Every day you wake up, you're given a choice. You can choose to stay where you are, to remain in the comfort of what you know. Or you can choose to step into the unknown. The unknown is terrifying. It's filled with uncertainty, with risk, with the possibility of failure. But it's also where you will find growth, where you will discover who you really are and what you're truly capable of. Ask yourself, how badly do you want it? How much are you willing to sacrifice to achieve your dreams? How many nights are you willing to stay up, grinding away while others sleep? How many times are you willing to fall down, get hurt, and still get back up? You say you want it, but do you really? Do you want it more than you want to stay in bed? More than you want to be comfortable? More than you want to avoid pain? Because the truth is, the path to greatness is not paved with comfort. It's paved with pain, with sacrifice, with a relentless drive to push beyond the limits of what you think is possible. There will be times when you feel like giving up. Times when everything inside you is screaming to stop, to quit, to take the easy way out. But it's in these moments that you must dig deeper. You must find that part of yourself that refuses to quit. That part of you that knows this is not the end, but just another obstacle to overcome or why you started. Remember the dream that set your soul on fire, that made you believe that you were capable of more. Hold on to that dream, because it's not just a fantasy. It's a vision of your future, a future that you can create if you're willing to put in the work. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sit back and watch life pass you by? Or are you going to stand up, take control, and fight for what you want? Are you going to let fear control you? Or are you going to face it head on, knowing that the only thing you have to fear is not trying at all? You have one life, one chance to make a difference, to leave your mark on this world. Don't waste it by playing small. Don't waste it by living someone else's dream. This is your life your journey, your destiny. Own it. Live it. Be relentless in your pursuit of greatness. You are stronger than you think. You are capable of more than you can imagine. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Don't let anyone, including yourself, tell you that you're not enough. You are enough. You are powerful beyond measure. You have within you the strength, the courage, the determination to achieve anything you set your mind to. Now is the time. Not tomorrow, not next week, but now. Start today. Start where you are with what you have. And don't stop until you reach the top. The world is waiting for you to show up, to step into your greatness, to become the person you were born to be. As the dawn breaks, so does a new opportunity, a chance to rewrite your story, to turn the page on doubt and fear. The world outside is filled with noise, distractions, and people who will try to tell you who you are, who you should be, what you should do. But today, you choose to listen to only one voice, your own. There is a power in silence, in tuning out the world, and tuning in to the rhythm of your heart. It's in that silence that you find clarity, a clarity that tells you, this is your life, your mission, 
your path. No one else can walk it for you. No one else can define your worth, your potential, your dreams. Only you can do that, and that path will not be easy. There will be moments when the climb feels too steep, when your muscles ache, your spirit falters, and you question whether it's all worth it. But in those moments, remember this. It is the struggle that shapes you, the pain that molds you into someone stronger, someone who refuses to quit no matter how tough the road ahead becomes. Imagine waking up every single day, knowing that today is the day you start living your dream. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. The truth is, there's never a perfect moment to start. There's only the moment you decide to take that first step. You see, success doesn't just happen to those who wait for it. It happens to those who are willing to work for it fight for it, and never give up, no matter how many times they stumble and fall. It's about pushing yourself when no one else is watching. It's about believing in yourself when no one else does. Look around you. The world is filled with opportunities, but they won't come knocking on your door. You have to go out there and grab them with both hands. You have to be willing to fail, to learn, to grow. Because every setback is a setup for a comeback. Every obstacle is an opportunity in disguise. So, what's stopping you? Fear, doubt, the opinions of others? Let me tell you something. None of that matters. What matters is what you believe about yourself. What matters is the fire in your heart, the passion in your soul, and the determination in your spirit. A lot of people say, I'm nervous. What if I try and I don't make it? They say, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I want to do it. I've got the talent, I've got the skills. I know I can write that song, I know I can finish that book. I know I can start that business, I know I can ace that exam, but I'm afraid. But let me tell you something. When you start running from the things that scare you, when you avoid the challenges that make you uncomfortable, those fears will follow you for the rest of your life. Fear has a way of creeping in, whispering doubts and casting shadows over our dreams. How many times have you stood on the edge of something amazing, only to pull back because fear told you it was too risky? You're not alone. We've all been there. Listen to me good. Fear doesn't just sit idly by. It attacks. It tries to paralyze us with what-ifs and maybes. What if I fail? It asks. What if I'm not good enough? Fear is the voice that tries to convince you that you should settle for less, that you should accept the ordinary because the extraordinary is too dangerous. Fear is not your enemy. It's your signal. It's telling you that you're standing at the edge of greatness. Every time you feel that pit in your stomach, a trembling in your hands, it's because you're on the brink of something big. Fear is not a stop sign. It's a challenge, and challenges are meant to be conquered. Imagine if every great achiever let fear win. What if they decided that the risk was too high and the reward wasn't worth the fight? We wouldn't have the breakthroughs, the innovations, the art that inspires us daily. Every time you let fear dictate your choices, you're denying the world the best of what you have to offer. You've come too far to let fear be the reason you give up now. You've faced challenges before, and you've overcome them. Why stop now? The greatest battles are won by those who refuse to back down. Don't let fear make you its prisoner. Fear is a shadow that will always be there, but it has no power over you, unless you give it power. Face it, confront it, and use it as fuel. You're gifted, you're talented, and you have a fire inside you that's waiting to blaze. But let me tell you something, nothing worth having ever comes easy. The road to success is paved with obstacles, and fear 
is just one of them. If you want to achieve greatness, you have to be willing to face those obstacles head on.